Hello, good evening. Um, Happy New Year, 2023. Hopefully everybody uh, had a uh, bit of a break um, and I uh, hope you guys had uh, some time to uh, relax, take some time to yourself, spend some time with friends and family, um, maybe even make it to a shooting range, who knows? Um, maybe do some shopping. Um, anyways, uh, we, we uh, had a good break. Um, Spend lots of time with the boys. Um, did some uh, did some outdoor stuff. Play lots of video games. Watch lots of movies. Um, added some extra padding around midsection, um, just like it's uh, should be around the holiday season. So um, yeah, we're ready to uh, conquer the new year again. Um, I wanted to take a couple minutes to um, to thank you all for uh, um, for supporting us um and uh and helping us with our business um by trusting in us and by by uh, um uh, um uh, trusting us to to uh, uh to fuel your passion so to say and uh to uh, uh, uh trust us to help you out with your with your hobbies and your passion of, of shooting sports uh we're passionate about shooting and shooting sports and and hopefully uh, uh we can uh, uh continue this uh, this journey together so um um thank you thank you again um and uh i wish you all great uh, uh uh new 2023 i know it's uh 11 days late um it's not quite a new year yet but uh, uh it's not sorry it's not that new anymore but uh it's the first video of this new year um and uh um yeah it's important to kind of reflect a little bit on what's happened um uh, over the past uh, 2022 but uh, we have a lot of stuff to talk about, um, uh, lots of things to catch up since the since the last video. Um, so let's uh, let's jump um, kind of right into it. Uh, we'll talk a little bit about uh, um, some of the new stuff that came in over the um, over the last couple of weeks since we haven't had a video for um, uh, for couple, um, since before Christmas. Um, and we'll chat a little bit about uh, uh, some new stuff that's coming in. Uh, we're excited to announce some new new companies that uh, we're initiating uh, our, um, to uh, starting to work with, um, and we'll take a look at uh, maybe if we have time some uh, some cool cool stuff. Um, so, a um, couple of big updates uh, we did uh, um, just before Christmas. We got uh, some CZ 600s, um, and uh, there's more coming in. Uh, I do have a list of what's coming in. We'll we'll go over that later. Um, we did get a, a bunch of CZ457 stuff. Um, we got uh, uh, CZ457 XRS, MDT XRS uh, builds, uh, and we have both uh, available in FD and black. Um, CZ457 LRP, uh, long range precision, black um, just arrived. We do have some of the standard one in, in gray as well. Um, it's unclear whether those will be continued item. Um, seems to be not showing on the CZ website anymore. So I think they they might be just uh, uh, switching to um, to LRP in black. Uh, but there's some gray in gray left over and uh, still available. They're essentially identical. Identical rifle is just the color that's different. Um, so I know some folks kind of prefer that uh, that ash gray. Uh, colors, so they, there's still some, might be some few available. Um, uh, we did get uh, uh, components for our CZ builds, so uh, which means that uh, we'll, we'll, we should be a little bit more regular um, as long as we have time to to put together um, our in-house builds. And uh, if you guys have something specific that you're after, let us know. We'll we'll check if we have the right components. We'll be we'll happy to uh, to put that together for you. Um, we are pretty excited that we got some um, some uh, new Sig ammo. So we re re restocked the the uh, the Sig pistol, so six, six hour nine mil ammunition. But uh, for the first time, we got some one forty seven grain um, empty box um, one forty seven grain nine mil ammo. And uh, what's what's good and what's kind of interesting about this uh, um, for for. Uh, for pistol shooters and for for ape six shooters as, as well is that um it's uh it's a heavier grain so it's 147 grain as opposed to 115 or 124 but it's also a little bit slower 
Um, so the uh, it the recoil should be a lot more manageable and should feel better. But uh, the power factor should still be there. Um, I believe it's still there. I didn't actually do the math because uh, this stuff just arrived. I haven't had a chance to try it out on the range in 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 in, um, in my pistols, but uh, um, based on uh, uh, based on what I've tried uh, from the other 147 grain, I think this is gonna this is gonna be great. I can't wait to. Uh, to make it out the range and try it out but we finally got some some of this and we've been waiting for this uh i think we ordered this probably six months ago or so um and uh also for those of you that uh plan to reload um your your pistol cases uh, sig cases are quite nice um uh, we got a good feedback um on the, on the reloadability of them so if you're looking to um for something to shoot and then reload uh, a sig is definitely a, a six hour ammo is definitely a good um uh, good option. Um, the other thing that arrived, we did get some uh, components arrive uh, from our favorite uh, blue colored, oh, uh, blue, not blue color, blue colored uh, brand. So we got some uh, uh, cases, uh, sorry, uh, well, we got some cases, but we got a bunch of components arrived from, from Lapo. I'm just looking kind of at the list here, what has arrived. So um, a uh, number of uh, number of projectiles, uh, 6.5 mil CNRs arrived. So 123, 136, 139 grain, um, all the all the popular stuff. Um, we got some. Um, we even got some lighter, like six point like 108 grain uh, CNRs in 6.5 mil. Um, the uh, uh, we got both bulk and and the um, um, and the hundred packs of those um but most mostly what's most exciting we got some 223 remington uh brass we got uh six mil br uh we got 300 prc and uh, we, we also restock uh um uh, 308 308 lapua brass uh large large primer i think small primer as as you recall from our one of our previous videos that uh that has the production of those has been halted for now so i don't think we're going to see the 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 palmer brass for for quite some time now um yeah and also some three uh um uh, 308 uh oh yeah so one uh, 155 grain cnr those are uh, those are quite popular and we have been out of stock for those for a while now and uh also some of the big stuff so 300 grain uh, uh 338 lapua um cnrs uh have landed too and uh yeah so there's quite a few, uh, quite a few reservations and back orders for these. We're working through those, um, but everything's up on the website. And if you have any questions about <clears throat> about what's um, about availability of these, and and uh, uh, contact us, so, uh, or you can just go place your order on the website. Um, if you if you do have a pre-order, if you haven't gotten to it, uh, we're working through them. Um, so I think we should be caught up by the by the end of this week, and. Um, uh, we also got a, a, a good restock of Lapua centerfire ammunition kind of just before the year end. Um, I think we pretty much have everything everything back in stock. Uh, I don't know if what, I haven't taken a look on what's sold over Christmas, but I think uh, we have a good uh, um, good stock of all the all the Lapua centerfire ammo. And and as always, uh, if you're if you're looking to um, to kind of start start up the new rifle, Lapua ammunition is always good to kind of first thing to put through the rifle. It's good quality ammo and you can always keep your brass um, and reload it. It's going to be fire form to your uh, uh, to your rifle. So that's always a good uh, um, good option. Um, we do have a uh, we do have an Eman Tech order um, with a whole bunch of up, uh, um, spring kits and various small parts for you know, CZ Glock and, and SIG Tempolio 1911 um unfortunately it's been sitting at customs for three weeks now and uh you know they see gun parts and they get a little bit excited um they, there's really no integral gun parts there it's just springs and and various uh um, um mounting plates and, and whatnot but uh they do need to do their due diligence so hopefully that will be released uh soon um because uh, lots of people are waiting kind of for their um for their parts and uh, we're going to keep on bringing these in we get a lot of questions about uh, uh, about pistol parts. Uh, pistol parts are not not covered by the current um, regulation changes, so we should be able to uh, keep on bringing these in and, and stocking um, various spare parts 
um, especially small parts like extractors, firing pins, uh, uh, various springs. Um, that should be should, should be no problem um, for now. Anyways, uh, we don't know what the regulations going to be in the future, but at this point, um, we're able to st stock these and bring these in, and we're going to continue doing that. Um, okay, so what what's what's happening? Uh, um, uh, we'll talk about it in, in 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 a minute. I mean, big thing that's that's happening. It's upcoming. Is is shot show, um, and uh, um, and that's kind of what we're gearing towards. Um, again, if you if you um, um, if you have anything that you you kind of think that we should check out in Shot Show, uh, certainly comment on the video and or, or pop us an email. Uh, we kind of have a, our shopping list or or, uh, or window shopping in some case of the stuff uh, for the Shot Show. Um, it's it's going to be pretty exciting. Um, you know, being a uh, being a shooting enthusiast and you know gun geek kind of thing. It's always uh, um, it's always pretty cool to. Uh, catch up with everybody else in the industry and and um, um, and uh, see what the new products are. We haven't been shot for we haven't been to any trade show really for um, since 2020, um, just kind of pre-pandemic. So we're pretty excited to um, um, to see uh, what's new, what's uh, uh, what everybody has been working on. We've seen some products online, uh, we've seen some product announcements online, but uh, we haven't seen them live. So we're pretty excited to kind of see. Uh, um, see everything, and uh, this year I managed to to um, uh, to get registered for the uh, range day, uh, industry range day for the shot show. So um, I'm I'm personally pretty excited about that to see kind of what uh, um, what sorts of new uh, new products and new new goodies are available um, uh, for this year. Um, we got a bunch of stuff. I'm gonna go uh, mention kind of what's coming in. There is some stuff that we've been waiting for for a while that's coming in. Uh, next week as well, um, we do have a, a refresh of the VFG cleaning supplies. There are a whole bunch of felts uh, that are arriving. I think actually they're here. We just haven't get a, gotten a chance to uh, to put them uh, in the inventory yet. Uh, I, I do, do see some boxes that uh, that have arrived from from Germany. Um, we do have a, a, um, a quite a quite a big uh, CZ uh, um, another CZ shipment coming in. Um, I see a whole bunch of 600s coming in. Um, so 600 Alpha, CZ 600 Alpha in Creedmoor, Ergo in 308 Winchester, Ergo in 223 Remington, um, Alpha in 8x57 IS, Alpha in 30 odd 6, um, uh, 600, uh, 600 Lux in 308 Winchester. Um, 600 Lux in 223 Remington. Um, so um, we are, some of these are going to be coming here for the first time. So we're pretty excited to uh, to see all of these. Uh, let me see what is in more 600s. Um, oh yeah, there's some um, CZ 75. Uh, oh, actually, this is a CZ tactical spare part kit. Um, yeah, we haven't actually had these before. This is this is pretty exciting. Um, I think I'll keep one for myself. Um, uh, we're getting some uh, uh, SPO1 uh, SPO1 barrels, spare, uh, uh, um, replacement barrels. So hopefully those, those should be in here by next week. Um, more more 600 lux three in 308 and 30 odd six. Um, Ergo and Creedmoor. Um, what else is here on the list? A uh, bunch of uh, uh, spur mounts coming in. Um, oh yeah, actually, um, this I didn't even see this. Uh, 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 this is as exciting for me as it is. <laughs> um, uh, we're gonna actually get some uh, uh, spur chassis coming in. Um, so we haven't had these. Um, we haven't had these in, in before. So uh, we, we're getting we're getting one. For, they only made for Remington seven hundred. Um, or uh, at least they were only available for Remington 700. So we're pretty excited to see uh, um, what they are like. Um, I mean, if they're, we know they're good quality. All the spur stuff is is top notch, but we haven't had this chassis on, on our hands. So it will be interesting to see kind of how it, how it compares to some, you know, so to Jay Allen or or, or, um, or or MDT ACC, kind of like you know your your um, your top tier chassis. So this is pretty exciting um, to see and. Uh, um, the uh, CZ P09 mags and P10F mags, um, Shadow 2 mags, 
and uh, um, and then bunch of um, bunch of mini sets. Uh, Caesar 457 Canadian has been looks like they did another run, so some of those are coming in. Uh, mini sets, uh, more magazines, um, uh, some grips. Um, looks like uh, uh, more cadet kits. Yeah, it's a pretty uh, pretty long list. Uh, um, I'm kind of get to start salivating when I look at it. But it looks like there's going to be a bunch of CZ uh, uh, CZ parts, uh, CZ spare parts, and uh, and accessories coming in. Um, we'll uh, we'll try to uh, announce those in the newsletter. Newsletter might be a little bit late next week um, or early if the stuff arrives. I'll, I'll probably try to write it and and, um, and get it out. Uh, we'll get it ready before uh, before I head out to Shot Show, um, if possible, because um, obviously I'll be busy there um, looking at stuff. And um, uh, but uh, um, the other thing I wanted to spend a couple of minutes um, uh, talking about is uh, we are pretty excited to bring on board three uh, three new uh, Canadian companies. Um, as those of you that, that know us have been with us for a while, you know that we, you know, we, we're, we always support, we like to support smaller companies. We like to focus on smaller companies and especially Canadian companies. We are Canadian companies and we like to support, uh, um, um, uh, Canadian lock companies. We can't call them local. Of course, Canada is a big country. Um, but, uh, some of them are fairly local to us. Um, some of them not 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 so much in terms of the geographic locality, but they are all Canadian companies. So, um, so uh, uh, first one is I want to mention is, is Boss Gear. Um, so um, the guys at, uh, at Boss Gear are working on making uh, uh, shooting accessories, in particular PRS shooting accessories. Um, so uh, uh, bags, kind of re rear bags, and, and uh, they're working on a bunch of other. Um, kind of accessories around uh, uh, primarily focused on PRS, uh, uh, PRS st uh, style shooting. Um, and they they have been kind of adding to their product portfolio and pretty excited. I think we're going to, um, we, we're hoping to get maybe some custom colors for us. So that'll be pretty exciting. Um, and we should start seeing these in, in hopefully um, within a few weeks. Uh, we just, we're just working on, on our initial uh, uh, kind of list of, uh, um uh, list of things that uh, we would like to make specifically for us um the other one uh we are just kind of initiating contact uh is the uh the spearhead machine um i i think some people might or might know about this it's it's uh this is uh for those of you that have been sort of uh, in a hardcore um um you know precision shooting community in in canada uh uh might have heard about True Brothers. They're they're the shooting enthusiasts. Um, they also uh, are skilled machinists and and, and gunsmiths. Uh, so they started producing some accessories. Um, in particular, they started working with some uh, um, some tuners and muzzle brakes. And um, um, we're pretty excited to bring those in. They um, the um, they look very nice. They are they're quite nice. I think these are, these are, these are going to be um, uh, th this is going to be something that I think is going to we are. We are excited to to add them to our builds, um, but I think uh, they're 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 definitely uh, uh, filling in uh, the the need for these type of products. There hasn't really been anything um, uh, uh, made that's uh, that's kind of in this particular niche, and also it, they're made in Canada, so it's it should be much easier for us to to access to. And uh, um, and in particular, uh, we're looking forward to getting some. Uh, um, uh, some tools, tuners and and uh, and compensators uh, for the uh, for the small bore rifles. So that should be uh, should be pretty exciting. And last but not least is the um, um, Apex uh, Optics. Um, um, we um, we hopeful hopeful to see some of the first uh, uh, scopes uh, come in um, sometime uh, sometime later this month or next month. Um, we're just kind of um, um, finalizing uh, uh, what uh, um, what we're going to bring in. I know that they're announcing some products at the at the shot show, so we're pretty excited to see uh, what it's going to be. Um, I know what they are, but I'm not sure how how, how public that is. So uh, I will uh, I will share that as soon as I know that uh, um, that they're kind of that's a public knowledge. Uh, but uh, uh, all three of these are Canadian companies, and and we're we're. Pretty stoked to to kind of add more um, 
add more uh, Canadian companies to our portfolio. And as you know, we, we always uh, 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 try to source Canadian and local as much as possible, which is not always uh, um, um, always feasible and always uh, uh, um, uh, uh, logistically um, uh, may make, make sense. But, uh, um, but uh, when we can, we try to source everything from um uh from the canadian companies and uh, and the canadian industry canadian gun industry although you know subdued not as a uh, kind of uh, um uh, the um uh how should i say not not as uh, as big and uh, i don't want to use the word word boisterous but you know not at, as grandiose and you know perhaps uh, american uh, gun industry or maybe some of the other countries the canadian gun industry is quite quite alive uh, and there's a quite a quite a, a quite a few good things happening in canada um, in terms of the of both uh, uh, gun manufacturing and accessories and uh, um, and, and other sort of a shooting related products. Um, so uh, another thing that I wanted to to mention, uh, we we got some uh, some Leopold Mark V scopes um, uh, last week or two weeks ago, I think, um, and uh, <coughs> these these guys are pretty pretty hard to get um and uh i i know i keep repeating that by myself i feel like I've, everything's hard to get um and but that's just the reality these days we 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 have to we have to keep on um um we have to keep on uh, uh, sort of a uh, uh hoping that we can get stuff quick but uh and uh, but i don't think it's gonna get any any better quickly anytime soon i think things you know so i think the supply chain is 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 slowly sort of rebuilding is, itself and, and things are coming in but i don't think we're going to see any anything coming in um sort of overnight where all of a sudden all the shells are going to be stocked and all the skews are going to be in there um going back to mark five um those of you that are familiar with mark five i think that there's not that much that, that i that need to say but i mean if you're if you're looking for a uh, PRS style scope um, that kind of has it all. Um, Mark V is definitely one of the options. Um, it's it's a definitely top tier, top shelf um, scope in terms of uh, in terms of performance, both uh, uh, quality of the um, uh, quality of components that are going in, uh, options when it comes to the reticles, uh, a range of magnification. Uh, it's very lightweight um and kind of checks off pretty much all the requirements uh for a competition shooter um it's definitely not a um uh, it's uh, um it's not entry level scope so to say um and uh, the price is not an entry entry level price but it's uh um you know the, it, it's kind of uh, hard to say this that it's a it's a good value for the money when you're, when you're spending three or four thousand bucks and it's like yeah but uh um the the compa other comparable products uh cost even more um so Leopold's kind of managed to put really good um uh, really good package there um at, at the you know at the high end uh, and still keeping keeping it very very competitive in terms of price um I, I do have you know a couple of them I mean um can't really feel the the, the uh, um can really feel the, the scope me showing it showing on the video but i have uh, we'll just pull one out of the box and check it check it out together um this is the this is the one with the tmr reticle which is one of the classic sort of uh um one of the classic uh, uh, um um leopold reticles uh the the I don't know if you guys can hear clicks always nice um this is the problem when i pull out the scope out of the uh of the box i just want to play with the um play and listen listen to how the um how the adjustments are um so uh i'm not really going to spend much time talking about mark fives uh the internet is full of reviews and videos about mark fives and you know it's a it's a quite uh um quite well known product i just kind of wanted to mention that we did did get uh, uh some units in and we always love having them on on the shelf unfortunately they don't stay here for very long because uh yeah just that they're they're um um you know some some of these units we only get 10 10 or less per year in canada so when they, once they arrive they kind of snap up pretty quick we do have some tmr and we actually got one of the the tremor three um one of the tremor three reticle um, that one's sort of a, like the, the the granddaddy of 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 the of the Mark V. It's illuminated tremor three reticle kind of has 
pretty much everything you heard more on the scope um and uh um, those of you that know tremor reticle you'll know what i'm talking about um it's a it's a licensed reticle it's not a it's not a leupold reticle it's a it's a it's a reticle that leupold licenses from uh, uh from night force and uh it's very there's there's this very special manufacturing process to 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 produce that tremor reticle um it's um it, it's like i said kind of like the the um uh, the mark V scope it's not an entry level or beginner scope um but tremor reticle is also kind of next level. It's not really a beginner, beginner reticle. It's quite busy. There's a lot of information there, um, and uh, those people that are looking for kind of reticle that does it all, you know, tremor is definitely one of them. There is a reason why um, why it's uh, copyrighted, and there's a reason why why kind of companies are licensing this uh, this reticle from uh, um, uh, from Night Force so they can put it in in their scopes. I mean, it's it's. Uh, um, um, it's, it's, it's spelled tremor, T R E M O R. Um, check it out. We do have some, some on hand. And then this, the one that I'm holding here, this is a TMR. Um, yeah. And, um, so, uh, what's next for us? We are, we are off the shot show, um, <coughs> next week. Um, we're going to try to post, uh, I'm going to try to do some live videos. I'm not going to promise anything. I don't know how. How busy it's going to be there but we'll try to absorb as much and share share as much so that uh, um, um, uh, we can uh, communicate that uh, back to, with you guys um, and uh, uh, but the shop's going to be open uh, JP is going to be here um, and and the rest of the gang they, they're going to they're going to be sort of uh, holding the fort um, and uh, yeah so um, I'm going to close it on that um, thank you everyone for for tuning in um, um, as usual, um, best way to get in touch with us uh, through our website, emails, uh, emails info at tesro.ca, info at tesro.ca. Our website is www.tesro.ca or just tesro.ca. Um, don't forget to subscribe to our newsletter. Um, it comes out usually on Tuesdays. Uh, some weeks we're a little bit late, especially if we know something, something new is coming in. Um, and uh, if you like this video and if you want to uh, um, get notified when the new one's posted, you can subscribe to, to the channel um, and you'll get notification when it comes up. Thank you very much for tuning in. Again, Happy New Year. Um, all the best for the new 2023 and uh, we'll, uh, we'll chat soon. Bye for now.